Adobe released a new update of Lightroom Classic. It's now 12.3 and it will prevent me of buying new cameras. Let me tell you why. I'm a very curious person and I always like new gear. So if a brand I like brings out a new camera or computer or whatever, you name it, I'm probably first one in line to buy it. With photo cameras, I have the feeling we are at a point where the only thing that can get better is autofocus and dynamic range. And of course, I have tons and tons of photos uh, from my earlier cameras and I have tons of photos, of course, from my recent cameras. And I have a lot of photos that have high noise in there, especially darker parts. And up until now, I played around with contrast and I played around with the noise reduction within Lightroom, which made my pictures soft. I actually don't like that noise reduction. I use it when I do big prints, but what happens is that it just gets kind of soft, but it's a, it's a weird kind of soft, which I actually which looks like artifacts for me. Now, with the new versions of Lightroom Classic and Lightroom, and we are at 12.3 on the Classic, and we are at 6.3.1 with the newer version of Lightroom, they implemented AI noise reduction. AI is the big thing of 2023, and I am not afraid of AI. I'm actually afraid that I don't understand it correctly. And always when something new with AI comes my way, I'm eager to try it out and to make AI a tool in my daily workflow, in my work as a director, and also in my work as an editor or photographer or content creator. It's just something that helps me spend less time doing stuff I don't like. Nose reduction is uh, something I spend hours and hours to figure out, to do it in a way that I'm happy with it, and I actually never got there. Last week, when I first tried out the new AI feature within Lightroom, I had some like wow experience, which I want to share because it's so good that I really think if you don't need a new camera because you need a better autofocus, you will not need a new camera anymore because the AI feature in the nose reduction of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom is so, so good. This is the picture I took in Las Vegas last week. And this is the picture I want to take as first example. We can see here with the um, at the windows here, we can see the noise. Uh, we're only at an 800 ISO. This is the Leica SL2. Fantastic camera in low light. Not the best camera. Let's go into develop mode. Let's scroll down and first look at the panel. So if I press here, I have the old noise reduction that was implemented. It's still there. So I can start doing this and you see it works, but it's soft. It's, it's, an, it's soft in a way. It's just the crispiness. I, I, I pay a lot of money to get those really sharp Leica lenses and then I have to make them soft. Just not something I like to do. But now let's close that one and now just press the magic button. Then this window opens and now we can see the progress. It's working. The AI is working and boom. And this is unbelievable i think so i have also the possibility to make that stronger or less and when i go down you see this is basically nothing and this is if i go go full thing let's just for fun let's make it a hundred percent it creates a new picture and this is absolutely stunning if i compare those two i have on the left side i have my enhanced noise reduction picture with a hundred percent it's the strongest you can go it's probably too heavy and probably artificial but still i'm interested how and here you see this crucial part of the picture it is fantastic i kind of am out of words here we lose a little bit of structure, but it's still here. This corner is see, even though this this broken corner, it fantastically created the car that is in motion. The lights are crispy. I mean, 
Isn't that fantastic? Here you can also see it very good. You have those lens smears. This is because I'm photographing through a, a window and even those are more crisp. This is absolutely fantastic. So let's do it once more and go with only 50% to, to have a comparison there. I now have to give it it just saves the it does not save the picture it just does save the AI script whatever you want to call it wow that's <laughs> that's where my curiosity ends I just think it's fantastic let's uh, now unstack this here on the left side we have the 100% and on the right side we have the 50% so and if you go in this position where we have been before I must say I actually like the 50% more because it's a little bit crisper. Because it's that mix of the original, especially here, this part, I like better here. Let's go check out the car. It's about the same. And here, I would say it's also the same. But overall, I would say it's not that big the difference. Here a little bit, you can see that looks a little bit more organic. That looks here a little bit more artificial on the left side. In the future, I will do 50 as a starting point. Let's try some other pictures. For example, I have here my absolutely favorite movie theater in the world. It's the Chinese theater in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. There is not a lot of light in there. You can see that the curtain is lit, but here in the where the spectators are, it's dark, it's grainy. The carpet is grainy. It's just an ISO 6400 on a Q2. That's just how they look. So, let's do the magic. And it's already done. You can even scroll. It's amazing. Look at that. You still got the pattern of the curtain. Now we're here. And this looks so good. I mean, the, it's lo it looks like there's no noise at all. Let's compare if I would do it with unstack those. This now is the original and I'm go with the old tool and I just do it up and do it this and this a little. You see on the left side, that's what I mean. You see on the left side, you still see the noise. Look what the AI did with that dragon here on the carpet. Isn't that unbelievable? It even like filled it with darkness, with color, <laughs> where it's washed out in the original. It just looks much, much crisper and cleaner. And if you look here, also, even though we have activated the old nose reduction, you can see how blurry it is here and how the AI here kind of rebuilds the structure of the wall. As for me, it's mind-blowing. Let's check out another picture. I have here a still I took from one of my movies I shot 10 years ago. It's shot with a Nikon D4 on 11,400 ISO because it was very dark. It was in a cave. The story is that guy, the girl has an accident and the guy um, is finding her. And we can see here the noise. It's of course, not the sharpest lens, but still the hand looks good. Let's do the magic. Already done. It's a smaller picture. On the left side, we have the corrected one. On the right side, we have the original. And if you look at that hand, I mean, isn't that, again, look at the shirt, look at the button. Uh, this is fantastic. He's a little bit out of focus. That still is out of focus. The focus is definitely on his hand. It's absolutely mind-blowing. I'm repeating myself. I have another picture I want to try out. Those are ropes that hold theater backdrops. 
uh, in a theater that is not existing anymore. It's the Komödie am Kurfürstendamm. Unfortunately, they tore it down. And uh, I had the chance to take pictures there shortly before it closed. At the time, I had a Sony A7R II with a 14 to 24 Nikon lens on it. And it has an ISO of 8000 because it was very dark. We obviously can see a lot of noise. So this is, I'm getting mean <laughs> to, the, to the program here. Okay, this is the first time I think it also is a little bit artificial. On the left side, we have, again, the enhanced. On the right side, we have the older one. If I just click here, of course, it just looks fantastic. It's an area that is out of focus. We now have even a bokeh kind of situation. If I go in the part that is in focus, I mean, the amount of detail that is recovered is actually fascinating. It's still, I can't, <laughs> I'm still stunned. Uh, let's do another one. I like to do sometimes um, astrophotography, and I'm by means no, uh, I have no idea about that. But I went out to Joshua Tree Park a few years ago and experimented around a little bit. I want to do that again with my newer gear. At the time, I had a Nikon C7 with a 24 to 70 zoom lens which was actually a stupid thing to do a zoom lens uh, for astrophotography. Let's don't talk about that. Of course, we have a lot of noise at an ISO of 32,000. It's not what you want to do. But hey, thanks to that picture, we can torture the new Adobe. The original on the right side again and the corrected one on the left side. And we still have that noise, but look at the stars. They, if you de I mean, look at that. Okay, I'm like playing around. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Um, and I was already drunk. <sighs> That's fantastic. Let's do one last one. Uh, we have here a picture also from the Crew 2 at 3200 ISO at the airport in Zurich. And I like the sky here because it's still a, it's a past magic hour, but the sky still has a little bit light. So uh, if we develop it a little bit and push that, that's going to be grainy. So we'll have some grain here. Otherwise, it's so crisp. I mean, that lens, again, that's why I like the the Leica stuff because it's so, so sharp. Let's do the denoise magic. Again, on the left side, we have the new one, the nose reduction. On the right side, we have the original one. And let's check here. There's still a little bit grain, which I like because it's, that makes it organic. But then here we have the plane, we have all those details. I mean, look here this strap or what that is here it's just in the sky in the grain in the noise it's in there somewhere here the ai differentiated that and worked that out even if you look at that logo it's absolutely fantastic and then see here you have on the right side that light here we again have like a little bouquet an uh, organic blur it's absolutely mind blowing isn't that fun? I'm so excited about everything AI does for photography post-production. I'm not afraid of AI. I try to embrace it and I'm looking forward for new cool tools. Let me know how you think about AI and AI in photography especially. And if you like that video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And yeah, stay curious. See you in the next video.